Well, I think it would be churlish not to concede that the Prime Minister has done a reasonably good job so far. Uh, he's taken a lot of my advice from my last podcast, uh, but uh, not really quite enough. He's still got Amber Rudd in his cabinet, who's a monster security risk. Uh, he's still got the uh, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney in situ, who is doing his best to scupper um, Sterling and Brexit. Uh, he's a fifth columnist. He needs to be got rid of. You'll have to get rid of him sooner or later, Prime Minister. Sooner is better. Uh, you also promised that you wouldn't go cap in hand round Europe uh, begging for a deal. Uh, so can you stop that? You said you wouldn't do that. We're not supplicants in this arrangement. If they want a deal, they must come to us. Uh, they're the ones who benefit from it most. Uh, and I'm getting a little bit uneasy, Prime Minister, uh, with your talk of the Irish backstop. The Irish backstop is only a very tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of Theresa May's withdrawal agreement, which was terrible in every respect. So getting rid of the Irish backstop uh, isn't going to make any difference. Uh, it was a rotten deal. It stays a rotten deal. And let me remind you, if I may, uh, what we actually need. We want rid of the European Court of Justice. We want rid of that one. We want to be able to do free trade deals with anybody in the globe without interference. We want control of our own borders. Uh, we don't want to pay them any money. Uh, maybe a modest amount uh, on leaving as a goodwill gesture, but only very modest. Uh, and that's, uh, that's basically uh, uh, what we want. Uh, a clean Brexit, straightforward Brexit, control of our own borders. Uh, our laws are made uh, in Westminster, not Brussels. Uh, no regulatory alignment. We don't want any of that. Thank you very much. A clean, straight Brexit. At the moment, I'm afraid, Prime Minister, just I'm beginning to smell a rat. I'm beginning to smell a rat. Let's hope I'm wrong. Uh, perhaps it's just my paranoia after campaigning for Brexit for 25 years.